And so when we when we're driving when we're driving we need to check the mirrors all the time, right? Yes. Okay. So tell me just tell us some incidences at which you have to check the mirrors. Like when you see a bird you check the mirrors. To make sure what's happening. While we're driving, right, yes. all the time, yes? Okay, so when we slow down, we should be knowing what's going on behind. Behind us, yes. Yes, and when we're turning left, we should be checking, checking our left hand, hand, the mirror, yeah. And the and same about the right. One, yeah. And whenever we see someone coming up to overtake us, we should check, and when we turn, we should check as well, just before we turn left or right, yes? Yes. Okay, do you know the relationship between the center mirror and the right hand mirror when you set it up? Well, this one uh, tells you what's going on behind you and yes. far, sort of far behind you. And when the car or something that's moving comes here, it means that it's on your right hand side and it's much closer to you. So, for example, if you're switching lanes, yeah. if the car goes from there to there, you should not be switching lanes or signaling until it's clear. So. So if we can see the car fully, the whole of the car, Here. in this center mirror, yes. right? If you can see the whole of the car in the center mirror, yes. it means that the car is far enough back that you can change lanes as long as you see very, very little of the mirror in your side of the car in your side mirrors. Yes. Yes. Or nothing. Yes. So if there's nothing next to you in your side mirrors and there's nothing say you're going left nothing in that mirror but you can see there's a car in the left hand lane here mm -hmm. as long as the whole of the car is in the main mirror you should be fine yes do you agree i do and i used to get very confused when you told me to switch lanes and i would see something here and would get so scared and i would slow down without checking here at all okay good check there all right mm -hmm. So how have we set the mirror? So you've set the mirror so that you can't see any of the cars. Okay. So normally when you're sitting in your normal position, can you see any of the car? No. No, you shouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. And that one as well, is that good? Yeah. Um, so from your driver position, you can't see any of the car. And if you leaned over, but you'd see there's a little bit of the car and you leaned over, you'd see a little bit of the car, right? Yes. Is that right? Yeah, good, okay. All right, so let's let's have a look at this now. Just make sure that that just lean over to the right hand side. Yes. And set that right hand mirror. Yeah. So you can just see a little bit of the side of the car, but set it out as much as you can. Out as much as I can. Yeah. So not too much, but so that you can okay. just see the side of the car when you lean over. I have to lean over this much. Yeah, uh, maybe a little bit less. Just a little bit less, yeah. That's it. Okay. Right now, when you sit in your driver position, can you see any of the side of the car? Mine, no. No. Good. And this one, lean over this way. So yeah. where where do you see the side of the car? On this one. Yeah. At the, the very beginning. Okay. So in your driving position, you can't. No. Right. No. Okay. okay. So you've set the mirror so that you've got overlap. So if you look in the main mirror, if you look in the main mirror, the blue car is just visible in the main mirror. And if you look in the side mirror, that same image is just visible on the right hand side of the main. That means that you have a full panoramic view. Okay. All right, so now let's let's check this now. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look see what where the cars are positioned when the car leaves the side mirror. All right, so we're going to move off now, okay? And we'll start with a car on your right-hand side. So if we were driving in a three-lane car, a three-lane road, yes? yes. Now just sit in your normal driving position, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if you if you were here, that car on the right-hand side would be a little bit behind you, yes? But just yeah. sit in your driving position, mm -hmm. put your hands on the wheel. All right, and you would look in that mirror, you could see that car, right? Yes. Okay. Now watch that car until it starts to leave that, that right-hand mirror. When it okay. starts to come out of the right-hand mirror. It has started, yes. Okay, now can you see it in the main mirror? Yes. Okay, so now 
we go down the road until it is just out of the main, out of the side mirror. Yes. Is it out of the side yes. mirror? Yes, it is completely. Okay. So now you can see it completely in this mirror. Yes. Out of the car. Right okay. Now look back. How far back that car is. Yeah. So if you can't see a car in your right hand mirror, there's normally enough space for you to move over to the right hand lane. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes? Okay. So as we drive down the road, we've got the blue car in front of us and it's in the lane on our right hand side. We'll just pretend it's in the lane on our right hand side. Then as it vanishes from our actual peripheral vision, it's going to become visible in the side mirror. Now if we watch it in the side mirror and we we can now see the car fully in the side mirror and then as we drive down the road it gets to a point where it's out of the side mirror. At that point it's in our main mirror. Now it's not fully in our main mirror yet. We have to drive down the road a little bit and then it will become fully visible. There it is, fully visible in our main mirror. When it's fully visible in our main mirror and there's nothing in our side mirror, there from my normal driving position, nothing in my side mirror, then that car is far enough back, it's far enough back in this position, far enough back in this position that I can now comfortably go into the right hand lane. So the blue car is visible fully in my main mirror it is not visible in my side mirror and that means that that there's nothing in this lane on the right hand side and I can move lanes to the right hand side as long as the blue car is not doing a speed which is too high if we do the same go through the same prospect with the blue car on the left hand side we're driving along the road driving along the road and the blue car in the left hand side leaves our right hand side and it's still it's still visible to us but it's also already visible in that side mirror so when it is visible in the side mirror it stays visible in the side mirror and at this stage that car is fully visible in our side mirror but there is nothing in our main mirror to say that there is a blue car next to us in our left hand side. So as we drive along that car will start to transfer out of that mirror and as it transfers out it becomes visible in the other mirror and when it is fully visible the whole of the car is visible in this mirror and it's no longer visible in our side mirror then at that stage the car is far enough back and if we look back the car is far enough back for us to move lanes into the left hand side. So, if our mirrors are set correctly, which means they, we set them on a panoramic view instead of, having, instead of having three mirrors looking into the same area, then we would end up with a situation where the actual mirrors can be used to determine the distance of the car from us by looking into the side mirror and checking that there's nothing on our right hand side so that we can move over to the right hand side yes and and the other thing too is because we've set our mirrors like that we don't lose sight of the car at any stage right so if we use this now and we go forward and we look just look ahead of you so when we look ahead of us, you're driving down the road, you're looking ahead of you. And you pass, you look at this car. The moment this car on the left hand side vanishes from your normal vision, it's visible in the side mirror and you can see it in your peripheral vision. Yes. So we haven't lost sight of it. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. And now it's going back into that side mirror and when it goes into this mirror, we know it's far enough back that we can move into the left hand side. Do you understand? Yes. All right, similarly on the right hand side, when we drive forward looking ahead, so look straight ahead of you, when you look over to the right hand side, you can see that car when he's next to us or in the blind spot area, he's in your mirror. When he then starts to move back, 
you can see that that car now when it's fully out of your right hand mirror you know it's clear on your right hand side you can go over right yes okay good